Hi, I'm Kim. I'm one of the naturalists here at the Chattahoochee Nature Center. And today we're going to go out in our forest to explore and learn about one of the special animals we have in this area. And so I'm here with one of our non-releasable wildlife that we have at the Chattahoochee Nature Center, our opossum. Opossums are the only marsupial in North America and they're native to our area, which is pretty cool. We get a chance to see these guys whenever we're out or walking around in our neighborhoods. They live right where we live. So I thought it'd be neat to go ahead and start looking at this opossum through the eyes of a naturalist. And as a naturalist, what we do when we're outside is we start out by taking time to observe the animals. I like to just ask myself, what are the things that I notice? So what I want all of you to do right now is take a close look at this opossum and tell me some of the things that you notice about this special animal. So now that you've had a chance to notice some special things about this opossum, one of the things I notice right away is I notice that this opossum has a nice big nose. It also has really big ears compared to the rest of its body. Can you see those ears? Those ears are also really sensitive around the edges and you can see even now this opossum using that nose, kind of sticking that nose up in the air. And as a naturalist, I begin to wonder when I see special features like that, I go, huh, I wonder how those features are gonna help this opossum out when it's out in its habitat, when it's around in its home. And here we are in the opossum's habitat. If you take a look around, this might look even familiar to you. It may look just like somewhere in your neighborhood and right where you live, or maybe even an area by your school. You can see there's lots of trees. There's all kinds of debris on the ground. Just over the hill here is some water for it to drink. So there's plenty of places to find food, some water and shelter for this opossum. So imagine though, there's one big difference. And that big difference is right now we've got sunlight, but the opossums are nocturnal. So they like to be out during the evening when they don't have all this bright sunshine to help them find their way. So having that nose and those ears, let's go back to that. Imagine being no possum, being close to the ground, and you gotta find your way. You gotta find food to eat. And so you've gotta know whether you're safe. And so you're going around, you can have that nose, that big nose to help you sniff around and see if you can find that good smelling food. You can use those ears to help you listen for sounds. So go ahead and if you want to, you could even try it. Make your ears bigger by going like this and see you can actually hear things a little bit more and that's important at night so the opossum can protect itself. So the opossum is gonna use those, that sense of smell and those great big ears to help it find its way at night and keep it safe. Now, another special thing that I noticed about our opossum, and of course, he's got his nose kind of buried right there. There we go now. You can see all these whiskers all around his nose on either side. Those whiskers are pretty cool. Do you know of any other animals that have whiskers? I, when I think of an animal with whiskers, I think of a cat. And cats, just like the opossums, are gonna use those whiskers as an extra thing that can stick out and help them feel. And how cool is it that those whiskers stick out about as wide as his body? Can you see that? How those whiskers are almost as wide as his body. And that's gonna be really useful to help this opossum when it's making its way through its habitat. And so here we are, as I mentioned, the whiskers are going to help the opossum find its way through its habitat. So you can imagine finding its way at night through all these different plants and looking for some place where it can either hide to stay safe or use as a shelter when it's ready to sleep. And those whiskers would stick out of its nose and as it goes into a hole like this, those whiskers will not touch or brush the sides and let the opossum know that this is a safe spot. This is a spot that he could fit in and he could then go on in and rest during the day. Right, another thing I noticed about this opossum is it's got this really cool tail where there's no fur on it, but there's scales. 
And then he also has these wonderful back feet. And his back feet, when you take a look at them, they look actually kind of like our hand in that there's five digits. And there's one, that fifth one looks separate and a bit like a thumb. And so that's going to help this opossum out when it's moving around its habitat at night. So with the feet and the tail, you can imagine the opossum making its way at night and then all of a sudden maybe seeing a predator like a dog come at it. So what it could do is you quickly come climb up to a tree and use the feet and tail to get up high enough so it would be safe from the dog. And then perhaps even go across branches and find its way over to another tree using both a combination of the feet and the claws on the feet and that tail. So, so far we've been talking about all the special physical things about our opossum, all these physical adaptations, and that's going to help this opossum survive. Uh, we've learned about how it finds its way at night, how it can use that wonderful nose it has to smell things, its ears to listen and feel for edges. The whiskers are going to help him find his way around so he doesn't hit any of the trees or logs. The tail and the feet are going to help this opossum climb trees and get around and move throughout his forest. But there's one other adaptation that this opossum has that isn't something you can physically see. And it's a way that this opossum protects itself when it gets to the point where there's a predator and it's frightening it and this opossum usually what it'll do is it'll growl and it may hiss and show all those teeth because those teeth are kind of can be frightening might stomp its feet and might hide but if it feels like it's cornered and has nothing else that it can do there's one more special adaptation we're going to talk about so at this point in time the opossum has encountered a predator um, it can't run into a tree it's tried all of its other tactics to scare it off and now the opossum is really frightened and will automatically play possum. What playing possum means is you'll see that possum roll over, lay down on the ground, uh, the tongue will roll out, the eyes will close, and it, its body will emit this really foul odor that makes it seem as if the possum has died. And that predator then walks by and says, oh, that smells like a rotten piece of meat, I don't want it. And then it keeps walking on and now the opossum is safe from that predator. Well, thank you for coming out and exploring the forest with me and learning all about opossums and all the special adaptations they have to help them survive in this region of Georgia. Now, I'm gonna challenge you to go ahead and go outside yourselves. Look around, use those same naturalist skills we practiced today to explore your own neighborhood and see what you can discover. In the meantime, stay tuned because there'll be more videos coming up.